Hi guys, it's Natalie Sheree, and today I'll be sharing with you my wash and go routine using the Diva Curl B Leave In and the none other than Argan Oil Eco Styling Gel. Yes, I ordered the B Leave In by Diva Curl for um, during their Black Friday sale. They had a buy two get one free sale. So of course I got three, three other B Leave Ins, and I'm so happy that I did. I love the definition that it gives my curls. It makes them extra, extra springy. And I will have a review on this Be Leave In next week, so be on the lookout for that. And yeah, so without further ado, here's my wash and go routine using the Diva Curl Be Leave In and Argan Oil Eco Style Gel. Talk to you later, dolls. Bye. So I'm starting off with freshly washed and conditioned hair. And I'm going to start off by applying the Onion Handmade Juices and Berries Leave-In. And I'll just be spraying this on my hair and mainly focusing on my ends to make sure it stays moisturized throughout this cold weather. Next up, I'll be applying the Diva Curl B Leave-In. And this is going to serve the purpose of my moisturizer slash sealant to seal in the moisture that I already have in my hair. And now I'm just going to work this into my hair and thoroughly detangle my hair before I proceed to apply my styler today, which is going to be the Argonal Eco Styler Gel. Now that my hair is thoroughly tangled, I'll be applying the Argan Oil Eco Styler Gel. I'm just going to start off by first detangling my hair a little bit further and section it off into two sections. Because with this gel, you want to work in smaller sections. This way, you don't have to worry about your hair snagging with this Eco Styler Gel because it is fairly thick. And because of that, I am adding water now and I will be adding some later just to make it more pliable. I'll now start by working this into that section and I will be, as always, focusing this gel on my roots as well as the rest of my hair because I do not want my hair to be matted at the end of the week. And as I stated, I apply more water to the section after applying the gel because it makes it more pliable and your hands just glide right through it as you can see here. Now I'm just going to split that section even further down by splitting it in half and working that gel into this section making sure I am smoothing my hair. Making sure I smooth my hair gives me less frizz and even more definition, as you will see at the end. You just want to take your time and be gentle, making sure you are not snagging any parts of your hair. If you see that your hair is kinda harder to get through, 
don't be afraid to add more water to that section in order for your hair not to snag because we do not want to cause breakage while we are doing this wash and go. Now that I'm done applying the gel all over my head, I am just going to make sure I focus on my edges, making sure they are smoothed down. And as you can see, I took that hair behind my ear, and this is going to save me from having to put a barbie pin in that area. You're just going to keep on smoothing, making sure to focus on your hair that tends to frizz up the most. And this is the completed result of my wash and go. As you can see, my hair is nice and shiny, and you don't see any white pieces as you did with my felt wash and go. So this is my hair on day two. It is completely dry, and as you can see, my curls are still popping, even after I've stretched them a little bit. So if you try this wash and go, let me know how it works for you. Until next time, later dolls.